ahead and put in the body filler. Uh, this is the first layer. Uh, looks like there's a couple of things that need to be uh, have to redo it again but so far so good and after sanding it then it will start to look a little better and also on this side I did the same thing um, put some filler on here and also put the filler on here uh, of course it's kind of rough uh, yeah as you can see that that's not supposed to be there so after I sand it then I'm going to go ahead and do it again and um, that will be that way. It will be nice and smooth. But so far, this is the first layer, so I'm not too uh, picky about it. But it's nice to have it smooth the first time. But you know, we're doing this thing as fast as I can. That way, I can go ahead and remove the bumper and put the other back because it is a Sunday, and uh, tomorrow is a work day. But so, so it's starting to look really nice so far. I decided to put the an extra layer of body filler on here because it was there was way too many hills and valleys and it was just too much so I couldn't deal with it it was just you know it's best to just start fresh okay so I went ahead and applied the uh, another layer and I've been using a different hardener uh, I'm actually using the the, um, the 3M hardener that's why it's red <laughs> otherwise it would be like a goldish color but uh, anyways, uh, as you can see, I left this layer right there, and there is a reason for that. Is because sometimes what happens is that you have uh, this part. You know, it's nice to have this roundish area, and I need a little bit of that filler to give me that uh, <clears throat> almost like an added insurance, so I can have more like curves instead of having a, a crease, because it's not a crease. It's it's more of a roundish area. You see that? Before I start curving this thing, I threw some guy code on here. I want to see where I stand. Uh, I don't want any surprises. So I want to see which ones are the highs and lows in this area. Let's go ahead and do that. So there it is. Um, <clears throat> finally, it's straight. I had a little dent right there, and I'm like, oh, I mean, I'm a dent right there. And I'm like, oh, gosh. <clears throat> Here's the crease. And what I'm going to do before I start making this round, I haven't made this round, but I'm going to make these two round at the same time, is that I'm going to go ahead and mask this area, and I'm going to add the filler in this area, that way it won't be all crappy in this area. So I didn't want to get ahead of myself again. Uh, <clears throat> these, remember these? Went ahead and did a lot of sanding, some cutting, uh, sanded the corners and edges and all this stuff with four with 320. I did the I first started with the 80 and then 320. I mean yeah, 320. Same thing with the other side. I did the same thing, uh, cut this off because it was sticking out so when you're looking at it through an angle you can see like this part and it doesn't look good. So I went ahead and did the same thing that the factory does. Mm -hmm. 